So this is another slightly more advanced technique to get amazing photographs of a motorbike, a car, a bicycle. It even works really well with people if you get them to stand really still. And it's called light painting or constant light photography. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a constant light. Now I've got a really, really flash one here. It's called an ice light. They cost a bomb, they're amazing. You can, you can even do this with a torch if you can't stretch to an ice light. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find somewhere dark and we're gonna set our camera manually to a really long shutter exposure. So I was using about six seconds. I played around four, five, six seconds was the best that I found. Six second exposure, and then you're gonna open the shutter and sweep your light across what it is that you're photographing. In my case, a really cool red motorbike. And you're gonna take several photos. Now I was using a sound trigger so I could control my camera without touching it, made it really, really easy. I got to one side, I could shout now, I could hear the shutter open and I could walk back just made the whole thing much quicker. And then you're gonna end up with quite a few photos with subtly different lighting. And next I'm gonna show you what to do when you get back to your computer to leave you with an incredible result. Open the best photos you took from the same position in Photoshop and put them in the same document as layers. Then set the blending mode to lighten, allowing the highlights to show through. Spend some time tidying and experimenting by reordering layers using eraser and healing brushes and your masterpiece will appear.